There are many of us out there. For residential school survivor Terry Lusty, seeing the Grandin name around Edmonton is a bitter reminder of what he went through as a child. It causes a lot of pain for people like myself. But that's starting to change. At this transit station, the Grandin name has now been covered up. Catholic Bishop Vital Grandin was a proponent of residential schools in the 1800s, who once said Native students should feel humiliated of their origin. A mural of him inside has long been a source of debate. This week, the city paneled it over in orange, the color of reconciliation, and pledged to rename the station with the help of Indigenous leaders like Lusty. How do we look at the process of reconciliation with that present? Other cities across Western Canada are also planning to remove the Grandin name from this high school in Calgary and this major roadway in Winnipeg. In Edmonton, Grandin isn't the only historical figure facing removal from public places. Frank Oliver's name is all around this neighborhood named after him. Oliver was a federal cabinet minister in the 1800s who took land away from indigenous people and blocked black immigration to Canada. You can unify an entire community around a new identity. This community leader helped launch a renaming plan in consultation with indigenous people. We wanted to take our time and do it right so that we can serve as a template for other communities. But Terry Lusty doesn't want past wrongs to be forgotten. We want the people to know the truth. We want them to know the actual history. But while the reckoning continues, people here are trying to honor victims of residential schools in other ways. Hopeful this movement for change is here to stay. Paige Parsons, CBC News, Edmonton.